Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register an account and bind our scanner. After we installed all software as the last video shows, there should be two apps on the desktop now. One is App Studio, which is for account login and authorization update. And another is Panda P2, also the main scanning app. But if we double click on the Panda P2 app now, you will find it shows Dango is not exist note. That is because we have not registered the device on this computer, so the software cannot recognize it. To open it, we have to register an account and then bind a device. First, we open the browser and type the website address that shows on the screen, and then get into our iCloud platform. On the home page, you can choose language as English and then click the register button. At this page, there are two options, clinic and mechanic dealer. If you are the one who actually uses the scan, register under the clinic option. If you are a dealer, then register under the mechanic dealer option. Now you can follow the prompts to register your account. You fill in the name, phone number, password, email address, and the verification code. At last, click the register. It will pop up a note saying, you have been successfully registered. Now we come back to the login page and log in the account we just registered. Here we are on the iCloud platform. To bind the device, we click the device item, and you have bind device. There will be a device list here. Now we have no device here, so let's bind it now. We click the bind device button and then fill in the device number and the device code. You can find the device number on our device box, adapter and the calibrator. And then you provide the device number to us or someone who you buy the device from. They will offer you the device code. We fill in these two numbers and then click binding. This device will appear on the device list, which means we bind it successfully. Here we can do several operations to this device, such as adding users, setting up the transmission accounts, and authorizing users. By adding a user, we can authorize another registered account using this device. And we can set the expired time for the authorization. By setting up the transmission account, we can upload the scanned data to this transmission account directly. Now we come to the final step, which is to log in App Studio to finish authorization. We open App Studio to choose language and then log in. You can find this device here again. Then we come back to the Panda P2 and open it. This time we can get in it, and this is the home page. Now we have finished the account registration and the device binding. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website.